the question is if 1 alpha alpha square alpha cube and so on alpha power n minus 1 be the nth root of unity then prove that 1 power p plus alpha power p plus alpha square power p plus alpha cube power p plus so on alpha power n minus 1 power p equals to 0 if the p is not a multiple of n and n if p is a multiple of n where p and k are natural numbers how to solve this so to solve this one we have to know the concept of nth root of unity please watch the video of the nth root of unity how we find it the nth root of unity let we assume x is equals to nth root of 1 so we can write this as 1 power 1 by n so where 1 can be written as cos 0 plus i sin 0 power 1 by n and we can generalize this as cos 2 m okay multiple of for every 360 degrees 2 pi m plus i sin 2 pi m plus 0 okay 2 pi m plus 0 simply we can write it as 2 pi m power 1 by n so now after generalizing this apply the demovis theorem and here we get this is as 2 pi m by n plus i times of sine 2 pi m by n okay so this is this here we applied the demovis theorem where m is equals to 0 1 2 and so on up to n minus 1 okay this is nth root of unity so that means 1 power 1 by n so the n roots are finded if m is equals to 0 okay if m is equals to 0 the one root of x is we call it as cos 0 plus i sin 0 which is as 1 okay now if m is equals to 1 okay if m is equals to 1 then what the x value will be become cos 2 pi by n plus i sin 2 pi by n okay generally we term here the root as alpha so now if m is equals to 2 and we get the x values as cos 4 pi by n plus i times of sin 4 pi by n okay which is equals to we term this is as alpha square and m is equals to 3 we obtain x is equals to cos 6 pi by n plus i sin 6 pi by n which is equals to the root we termed as alpha cube and so on okay and so on we find out the alpha power n minus 1 for m is equals to n minus 1 we obtain the alpha power m minus 1 as a root so now the roots are 1 alpha alpha square alpha cube and so on alpha power n minus 1 or the n roots of nth root of unity okay these are the n roots of nth root of unity so where here alpha equals to what this alpha cos 2 pi by n plus i times of sine 2 pi by n okay in general we term this is as e power i times of 2 pi by n in the complex exponential we can write this as e power i times of 2 pi by n and every succeeding of next root is square of the alpha okay right so now what is our question our question is asking us to find 1 power p plus alpha power p plus alpha power alpha square power p the powers of this one is he is asking okay right so to find out the powers of this one first i am considering okay so here the question is asking that 1 power p plus alpha power p plus alpha square power p plus alpha cube power p plus so on alpha power n minus 1 
power p and uh, we can write the same thing the sum of the powers of p powers of the roots okay and we can write this is as 1 plus alpha power p plus can we write this as alpha p whole square yes the next alpha p whole cube and so on we can write this is as alpha power p n minus 1 now this is in the form of a geometric progression having the common ratio as alpha power p of n okay the series is of n then we can write the sum of this can be written as a into a is nothing but 1 into 1 minus common ratio alpha power p power n okay common ratio alpha power p power n by 1 minus r r is nothing but alpha power p so now we can write this is as 1 minus alpha power p power n by 1 minus alpha power p so just before we have find it the root one root as alpha equals to cos 2 pi by n plus i sine 2 pi by n okay so now find out the alpha power p so we can write this is as cos 2 pi by n plus i times of sine 2 pi by n power p okay power p so now we can find out alpha power p equals to okay alpha power p equals to we can write this is as cos 2 pi p by n now here we are applying the demos theorem then i sine 2 pi p by n okay i sine 2 pi p by n now substitute over here then we can write this is as 1 minus alpha power p is nothing but cos 2 pi p by n plus i times of sine 2 pi p by n okay by n all power n by 1 minus cos of i can write the alpha power p as 2 power p by n and next i times of sine of 2 pi p by n okay for the numerator we can apply the de Movis theorem then we can write this is as cos of 1 minus cos of where p into n by n okay cos theta plus i sin theta all power n can be written as cos n theta plus i sin n theta now n should be multiplied with the angle then minus i sin 2 pi p by n into n by the denominator can be written as cos 2 pi p by n minus i times of sin 2 pi p by n okay is it clear are you getting so now these two will be cancelled out n and n in the numerator so we can write this is as 1 minus cos 2 pi into p minus i times of sine 2 pi into p by 1 minus cos 2 pi p by n minus i times of sine 2 pi p by n and here the condition this is the solution what we are obtaining the solution we are obtaining for 1 power p plus alpha power p plus alpha alpha square power p and so on plus alpha power n minus 1 into p and the condition here we are considering the p is not equals to multiple of n okay if p is not equals to multiple of n whatever the condition you have considered the numerator the numerator will become the p is okay p is not a multiple of n but the cos 2 pi p okay whatever the value of a natural number k a p and n are the natural numbers now so we can write this is as 2 pi okay for even multiple of cos okay even multiple of cos even pi okay 2 pi multiples of cos cos is always 1 minus i times of whatever the integer multiple of pi sine is always 
0 okay then the denominator here the it is not a multiple of pi we cannot say the denominator not equals to 0 over here but the numerator equals to 0 if the condition what is the condition p is not a multiple of n okay if p is not equals to k times of n and we can get the sum of all the roots okay sum of powers p powers of all the roots are zero okay right next if p is equals to k times of n then how to solve this okay p is equals to k times of n so we have that what we have to find out 1 power p plus alpha power p plus alpha square power p and so on alpha power n minus 1 of p when if p equals to the resultant we have to find and condition that p equals to k n okay before the case we have seen that if p not equals to k n the numerator is 0 but the denominator not equals to 0 we obtain the resultant is 0 we obtain now in this case to find out the sum of this one we have that alpha equals to cos 2 pi by n plus i times of sine 2 pi by n then what is alpha power p from the what it is d movis theorem we can write this as cos 2 pi p by n plus i times of sine 2 pi p by n okay now if we apply the power we can directly write now here the condition if p equals to k n then what this alpha power p will become so cos 2 pi k n p is nothing but k n by n plus i times of sine of 2 pi p is nothing but k times of n by n n and n will cancel out n and n will cancel out we can write this is as alpha power p equals to cos 2 pi multiples of k plus i times of sine of 2 pi multiples of k we know that so the even multiple of pi okay for the even multiple of pi we get the cos value as 1 whereas the sine value integer multiple of pi the sine value is 0 then we can write this is as alpha power p equals to 1 okay alpha power p equals to 1 and what this solution will become now okay we can write the series as okay now i am going over here the series can be written as 1 power p as 1 then alpha power p plus alpha square power p can be nice alpha p whole square then alpha power p whole cube and so on we can write this is as alpha power p n minus 1 so the sum of where if p equals to kn if p equals to multiple of n and we are getting this is as alpha power p as 1 plus 1 square plus 1 cube plus so on 1 power n minus 1 which is nothing but 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus and so on up to 0 to n minus 1 means n times okay the one is obtained as n times then we can get the required result as so 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus n times the result equals to n okay so now this we obtain the result equals to n if p equals to k times of n the result equals to 0 if p is not equals to k times of n so this is the way of finding the solution for this one